Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's Checking Effect, and today I want to do something different and see how the people are living in this barrio and Republica Dominicana. So uh, I'm with my man, Como te llamas? What's your name? Fernando. Fernando. Hey, ese tu trabajo. Ese es mi trabajo. This, this is his job. He's a driver and he picks people up and take them to different locations, right? To buscar la gente para diferentes lugares, para su casa. ¿Y cuánto cobran la gente? 100 pesos. Each person is 100 pesos. So just to do some, some good work, I'm gonna just pay for everybody that gets on this cab and record everything that's going on. So we're gonna get it, man. Let's get it. All right, yeah. <laughs> so we're on the road right now. Just to let you know, man, we're in the Campos. We're in the Campos. Yo, you know all the people. Call them. Mira la gente, Vector. Para no alguien, no le quiera alguien robarme. Tú le preguntas a los choferes, eh, más o menos el flujo de pasajeros que yo calan por el día o lo que hacen por el día. Lo que sea, si tú le preguntas. Tú puedes preguntarle. Yo le pregunto. Y yo, voy a, yo voy a ponerlo en inglés. En inglés. No, pero es tú. Esa es cosa es para ti, no para ellos. ¿Entiendes? No tiene que dar preguntas a ellos, tiene que preguntar a ti. Ay, mi madre, tú me. Pues me premio, soy yo. Está bien. Oye, 25. Y yo busco aquí el pasajero que ustedes. ¿Qué es lo que? ¿Qué es lo que? ¿Qué es lo que? Estaba para la playa de los What he does is he comes here 
And each of these each of these vans that you see, one, two, three, four, they all have, you know, they all have turns. And he basically sits up here, relax, and wait till the wait till these vans leave and wait till his turn. And then that's how they fill up and they charge each person hundred pesos and they go. That's that's the daily, that's the daily day right there, man. The daily struggle, the daily hustle in uh in Dominican Republic. Fernando, ¿cuánto gente normalmente tiene en, en cada viaje? 10, 10, 15, 10, 15. So he got, he has about 10 to 15 people every trip. Ida y vuelta, o solo ida? Ida. Ida, so 10 to 15 people. So 10 people, 10 to 15 people to go and 10 to 15 people to come back at 100 pesos a pop. So that's uh, como 1,500. Like a thousand, that's like a thousand, a uh, thousand five hundred pesos. gonna take a little stroll and show you guys uh thank you hola show you guys the area while while we wait for the van to fill up we're just gonna take a little stroll buy some support to people and get some manzana Puedo comprar una manzana. Tiene uvas también. ¿Cuánto es la el uvas? El uvas. ¿Cuánto es? La libreta del medio y si quiere le peso una bolsa. ¿Tiene agua para limpiarlo? No. Pero yo compro los cilindros si quieres. Porque yo quiero comprar, yo, yo quiero comerlo ahora. Sí, puede ser que lo comer ahora. Le... 570. 500. No tiene por como como dos, dos, doscientos o trescientos. ¿Ese le van a comer aquí? Yo quiero, pero tengo que limpiarlo. Yo te compré el agua ahí. Ok, ok. ¿Y dónde está la mujer, tu amiga, que está allá? Sí, la lo... <laughs> que quiere vender la cosa más barata. <laughs> ¿Tú no recuerdas? Ella dice 450 y es 600. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Ella es la dueña del negocio. Ella es dueña. Ah. 350. La dueña quiere. Ah, la, la dueña quiere perder dinero. Yo soy la que trabaja para ella. Busca 300 aquí. Busca 300 aquí. Sí, lávalo. Yo, yo quiero... Sí, sí, sí. It's funny because uh, that's crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So we, I'm gonna head back. Just had a little snack. I'm gonna head back to see if he got some clientels, and we're gonna take the journey. Let's go.
Estamos aqui, bro. O que passou, bro? Joana me, me llamó. ¡Hey! ¿Qué pasó? ¡Hey! Tranquilo, estamos aquí. Aquí mismo, en la silla. Comiendo uvas. Mira. ¡Ay! Ok, bro. Vamos a buscar gente. Let's go look for some people. It's our time now. We had to wait till three or four vans passed. And then it was his, it was his turn, just like a taxi system. So now we're gonna see how many people come. <laughs> hey. day for him so uh, that's how it is you know when you're working some days you have fast days some days you have slow days you never know what's gonna happen but at least he got some well uh, one two three four five six, six six people so at least he got some things better than nothing you know and it's crazy because the ride's free so yeah Nosotros, Morena. 
So what they do is, this is daily routine. They park here, he parks the van here, and he just sits down and waits till people come. When people, when the van fills up, take off. There it is. All right, so we got one customer coming up. This is the compo for real, man. It's a daily route. Look at these look, the route this man takes. This route is so damn dangerous. Like any little, you know, I don't, and, and there's, there's there's no street lights at night. All right, vamos. Let's go. Let's go. Fernanda. La gente maneja muy loca. <laughs> this man is reversing all the way back. <laughs> How many people is coming on that like little chalkboard? Turn off. Okay. Okay, bang. Dale. Dale. Yeah. Sí, ya. Yeah. ¿Y cuánto gasolina tiene? Necesita por eso. Una. Quinientos. Por un viaje. Por un viaje, 500 caras viaje. Wow. 3.5, poca la vaina. So it's, five, it's a, like $9 round trip. Every round trip is like $9. Wow, okay. That's what's up. What's up guys? This is another video with Check and Effect and to, we're at the beautiful Dominican Republic. The beautiful Dominican Republic. Um, I always wanted to know what an average Dominican makes in the daily struggles in Dominican Republic. Now, from what I was told, the average Dominican makes about $300 to $500 a month. Yeah, I said it, $300 to $500 a month. That's like, I don't know what to say, man. So for you guys who think that you're struggling and whether you're in Europe, United States, wherever you're at, 
There's people that have it worse, and there's people that wish they had the opportunity. So what I did was, I teamed up with Fernando. Shout out to Fernando, by the way, who's allowed me to do this video. I wanted to see how the culture, the people, the lifestyle, and just in general, how people are able to survive making that type of money. And I went on the road with Fernando, and Fernando showed me basically his job, what he does. And so I said, Fernando, man, let's be real. Tell me how much do you make? He said, every person that gets on the guagua, la guagua is a passenger van or bus, all right? Dominican term. And every person that gets on pays 100 pesos. 100 pesos is equivalent to about two bucks, all right? Um, about $2. So every person pays 100 pesos and, you know, just like a taxi service or whatever, um, or a regular bus transit wherever you live at. So every person makes 100 pesos, he averages out between 10 to 20 people. So I said, okay, so what's your average? So he said he makes, average in a, average makes in a day, I'm sorry, not a month, is about 40, uh, about 2,000 pesos. I say, whoa, 2,000 pesos, that's actually good money. That's like 40 bucks, right? Give or take. And he was like, yeah, that's what, but I don't keep $40. I was like, what do you mean? He said, well, I don't own the van. So I said, oh, okay, so what do you guys split it 50-50? He's like, no, we split it 40-40, uh, 60-40. So I'm like, okay, 60-40, um, how many days a week? He said he works six days a week. Okay, $18 six days a week, 18 times six, it comes up to 108. That's that's actually not that bad being a Dominican Republic. I'm like, yo, 108, that's pretty good. He was like, no, nah, no, nah, there's... I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, obviously there's more. And I'm like, okay, what more there is it? Fuel. Now, in Dominican Republic, they use, they have gas and gasoline. If somebody say gas, that means they're actually putting gas, not gasoline. So they put, he puts gas in the vans. He puts, uh, he told me a thousand pesos uh, for the week. So he puts 500 and three days later he puts another 500. So he puts a thousand pesos for the week. I'm like, that thousand pesos comes out of the check. So a thousand pesos is 20 bucks minus 20. Woo! And that leaves him with $88. That's what he makes, $88 a week. Um, you time that by a month times four that comes up to 352 a month he normally averages around 300 250 300 350 375 was probably the most he made was 375 and yeah man so uh 350 dollars 300 dollars in a month yeah that's not looking too good it just kind of makes you think of things different and makes you feel like wow you know over there minimum wage is thrown out the door you know so Fernando is actually gonna try to get his own van. And I said, yo, that's a great idea. You get your own, if he gets his own van, he doesn't have to split it 60, 40. It's possible he can make, if they make, if he makes $35 or $40, that's $40 that he made alone. He just has to pay fuel. Obviously you got tire, you got maintenance and all that, that's gonna come into play. But I was glad that Fernando was able to, uh, to allow me to do this video, man. And I hope you guys enjoy the video.